dog is doing a poll on her blog and she asked would you ever hex someone and you have the options of yes no under extreme circumstances and I think only if they hexed me first I voted only in extreme circumstances and Miss Kitty had done a video and she asked some questions so I'll answer those first she asked have you ever hexed anyone no I have not would you ever hex anyone? Yes, I would. If yes, under what circumstances? Basically, if someone's trying to hurt my daughter or my husband, because they are the two most important people in the world to me, and if someone tried to hurt them emotionally or physically, I would lay waste to them any way I saw fit, basically. Um, I do agree with Miss Kitty in the fact that in most cases I would try to solve it other ways. That she felt the justice system could adequately protect her and her family in most cases, and, and I agree with that. But if there was something happening and I couldn't find another way to address the situation, I would not have any qualms whatsoever about hexing somebody. And then she asked, how do you define hexes? Now what I thought was really interesting is I wanted to look up a definition of hex for this video and there is a lot of definitions. Um, an evil spell, a curse, something that brings bad luck, a jinx, a whammy, and then I saw one, the definition of a hex was to practice witchcraft, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and of course, evil curse is completely subjective because there are people in the world who think that any witchcraft is evil, which could be where the practicing witchcraft is hexing definition comes from. In my opinion, a hex is any spell that you cast with the intent to harm or damage another person. And that's harm or damage in any way, if it's, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, professionally, what have you, that would be a hex. I think there's a lot of different kinds of hexes. The, the main ones that I could think of right off the top of my head are um, reflective hexes, you know, sending whatever someone's sending to you back at them, and if that's a harmful um, energy that they're sending to you, that's what they're getting hit with. That's sort of like a sort of like just a little that's just slightly more hex than protection but in my opinion that falls under the hex category and of course then there's the direct I think this also all goes back to an individual's interpretation of the Wiccan read um, or the basic part of Wiccan it read fulfill and harm it none do what ye will I've always kind of interpreted this a little differently than most people that I've, I've spoken to. Um, number one, it's the Wiccan read. I do not classify myself as a Wiccan. I classify myself as a pagan, and therefore I don't believe that the Wiccan read technically applies to me. I do think it's generally good advice, but I've never understood how that phrasing says that you can't do something. And it never says, don't do anything that harms others. It says, if it doesn't harm anyone, you can do it. So it's not really forbidding you to do anything. It's allowing you to do whatever you want as long as it doesn't harm anyone else. And I always felt that there's a few places, and I can't remember um, where I've seen this, but some more modern Wiccans are adding on, and if it harms, do what you must. Something like that. Basically saying, if you have to do something that is harmful, then you know, make sure that you fully understand what you're doing and you only do what you have to do. Um, 
we can't really, I don't feel like that can be interpreted literally because every second of every day we're harming something, you know, we're eating plants and animals, that's our, our big diet is plants and animals, essentially, uh, unless you live on Cheetos and Twinkies, and that would be harming another living creature, wouldn't it? I also think that that, that you know, does it apply to yourself? Some people believe that it applies that you, c you shouldn't hurt yourself. Of course, I don't believe anyone should harm themselves, but it's not, it's a very subjective phrase, in my opinion, and it's not something that you can just say, oh, well, no pagan would ever do this, because number one, it's not a rule for paganism. Paganism comes in too many flavors, with completely different values and beliefs and rules. You can't apply a blanket rule to all of paganism, because we're just too different. We're all very unique individuals. I'm not going to lie. I can't even count how many times I have wanted to hex somebody. I have thought about hexing somebody. I have considered seriously hexing somebody. But I always try to look at look at problems from all angles. And if there is a way to handle the problem that doesn't involve hexing them, then I would rather do that because it's just easier. And I would rather focus any spiritual energy I have and time that I can devote to my spiritual practice on things that benefit me more than hurting someone else.